Hello, my name is Ma Chi Chong. I am a graduate student from South China University of Technology. The title of the paper is Research on Commercial Space Vitality of Airport Terminal Based on 3D Vision Field Simulation of Pedestrian Flows. Our research focused on the relationship between passenger flows and commercial space vitality at the terminal. We took Guangzhou Baiyun International Airport Terminal 2 as a study case and simulated the pedestrian 3D vision field to assess the commercial space vitality. In recent years, more and more large-scale terminal buildings have emerged. In the design and construction of the terminal, how to increase the non-aeronautical revenue of the terminal has become one of the difficulties and priorities. The commercial vitality is one of the important factors influencing non-aeronautical revenue of the terminal. There is a correlation between passenger flows and commercial space vitality. So it is necessary to analyze the impact of pedestrian flows on commercial space vitality. What people see when walking in the commercial area of the airport terminal has a direct impact on their shopping behavior. The commercial space vitality, the commercial planning, and the position of advertisements. By simulating passengers' dynamic three-dimensional vision field in the airport, passengers' vision focuses and view time on surfaces can be obtained, which can be used to assess the commercial space vitality at the airport terminal. Recently, there has been more and more research on pedestrian vision field simulation. In these studies, pedestrian vision field simulation is mainly divided into two types, two-dimensional pedestrian vision field simulation and three-dimensional pedestrian vision field simulation. In terms of two-dimensional pedestrian site simulation, the space syntax theory proposed by Hillier B is one of the mainstream researches. In 1999, Turner and Penn applied ISOVIST integration to the analysis of pedestrian flow in buildings and urban cities. On the basis of ISOVIST integration, Turner further proposed the application of visual graph analysis to building space analysis and pedestrian vision simulation. In the subsequent research, Many scholars used the visual graph analysis of space syntax to analyze two-dimensional pedestrian vision. In terms of 3D visual field simulation, the main researches were based on the model of view cone. In 2014, Brandel N. established a pedestrian vision field model by emitting rays on the points of the pedestrian path. In 2017, J. H. Huang, H. Lee built a three-dimensional vision field model to study the privacy of Korean palace architecture by emitting rays from the observation point to the target interface on the Rhino 6 combined with Grasshopper. Based on the research of J. H. Huang, H. Lee, Karaji G. applied the model to simulate pedestrian flow in commercial spaces. The first method we used in the paper was software simulation. We chose mass motion to simulate the commercial space vitality. Mass motion is based on the social force model proposed by Helbing in 1995. Compared with other social force model simulation software like Analogic, Simwalk, and so on, mass motion simulates the pedestrian's movement in real life. Firstly, Agents in mass motion move toward their destination independently by observing the surrounding environment. Secondly, each agent's property can be defined to imitate passengers of the different traits speed, age, size, etc. Thirdly, users can assign different tasks to agents to simulate the pedestrian's behavior. Mass Motion's 3D vision field simulation is based on the pedestrian view cone proposed by Professor Morrow. Agents in mass motion have a certain range of vision field. They can observe their surroundings and other agents while walking. Simultaneously, the pedestrian's vision field range and view distance can be set up before the simulation. In mass motion software, 
The selected objects can be computed through vision time map. In terms of software verification, many scholars have verified the applicability of mass motion software in the pedestrian movement. The second method we used in the research was site investigations. The investigations from 10 o'clock to 20 o'clock were conducted at the airport terminal on Thursday and Saturday of two weeks. The site investigations included the video data collecting and the shop vitality survey. Some videos were recorded by the camera to calculate the walking speed of passengers. And we counted the number of passengers entering each shop at one hour intervals. The average number of passengers in a shopper day was used to assess the vitality of a shop. We have selected the Vayun International Airport Terminal 2, which was put into use in 2018 as the objective simulation in the research. There are two reasons why we chose this airport terminal as the simulation case. Firstly, the designers intended to build the Terminal 2 into a non-traditional commercial complex to improve the terminal's non-aeronautical income. Secondly, in order to expand the contact surface between commercial space and passengers, the commercial space of the domestic mixed flow area was integrated with pedestrian flow. There are several kinds of passenger flows including domestic departure flow domestic arrival flow, and transfer flow in the domestic mixed flow hall. The process of constructing the simulation model includes three parts. Firstly, we established a three-dimensional model in Rhinoceros 6.0. Then, we imported the model into mass motion and selected the vehicle as an activity of simulation. Finally, we set the value of some related parameters. We set a passenger flow peak hour between 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock as the simulation period. We respectively set the number of agents in three situations as 6,819, 2,130, and 6,119. According to the video recorded at the airport terminal, we calculated the pedestrian walking speed was 1.38 meter s. Therefore, the speed of agents was set to 1.38 meter s in the simulation. The view distance was set to 20 meters. And the vision cone angle was set to 30 degrees. As was shown in figure 12, 14. There were three vision focuses of agents with the same location which was respectively on the surfaces of shop F, shop G, shop W. In figure 13, 14, three vision focuses with the same location remained respectively on the surface of shop A, shop F, and shop G. Little vision dwell time of agents in domestic departure flow was focused on shop B. N. O, W, X, where their vision dwell time in the domestic arrival flow was the longest. Compared with figure 12 and figure 13, there were obvious changes in the vision dwell time of shop J, K, L, based on the changes in the vision dwell time on shops. It was illustrated that different flows had complementary effects on the visual focus of agents. We compared the simulation results and the survey results in figure 15. In the results of the survey on the terminal commercial space vitality, we found that the shops with the highest commercial vitality were the shop A, E, F, and R. Their average daily customer volume exceeded 30. The shops with high commercial vitality were the shop B, C, K, L, N, P, Q. Their average daily customers were within the range of 15 to 30. Compared with the view focus simulation results in figure 15, it was illustrated that the shops with high commercial vitality A, B, C, E, F, K, L, N, P, Q, 
bar were all located at the position of pedestrian vision focus. That is to say, mass motion's three-dimensional vision field simulation is applicable in the study of commercial space vitality of the terminal. Through the comparison of the simulation results and survey results, we concluded that Mass Motion's 3D vision field simulation of pedestrian flow has certain application prospects in airport commercial space organization, passenger flow arrangement, and space optimization of the terminal. Furthermore, compared with single pedestrian flows, the mixing of multiple pedestrian flows can improve the commercial space vitality of the airport terminal. This research has practical value and theoretical value. Firstly, by using mass motion, we proposed a dynamic 3D view simulation method based on pedestrian motion. This simulation method makes it possible for designers to analyze and test the three-dimensional building space layout, which provides strong support for seeking the optimal building space layout. Secondly, this research can also be combined with the POE post-occupancy evaluation to evaluate and verify the space layout of the built environment, signage system, evacuation efficiency and so on. The application of the research. This research can be applied to the airport terminal design process and provide a reference for airport terminal design and expansion. In addition to evaluating and optimizing the commercial space in the terminal, this study can also be more broadly used to predict the privacy of the terminal space nursery room, medical rooms, offices, etc., thereby assisting designers to optimize the functional layout of the airport terminal. The pedestrian dynamic 3D view simulation method proposed in this paper can also be beneficial to other types of architecture design, such as museums and hospitals. Vision focus of the pedestrian can be simulated by mass motion, which will be a great use in the advertisement or signage placement. Thanks for listening.